What up, YouTube? It's your boy King Moo, man, and you know I'm coming through with another production. Another production. All right, so check me out. So today, I'm gonna show y'all how to download the PS2 emulator for the free ski. Come on, man. You better make sure you show your boy some love, man. Make sure you like the video. Um, this could work for any computer, but I ain't gonna say it's gonna work fast. You know, you gotta have a good computer. You can't just be running out on no dinosaur, you know what I'm saying? All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is Google. So boom, you're gonna go to Google. Google.com, right? All right, boom. So then you're gonna go PCSX2. All right, PCSX2 is gonna be the first one. All right, you're gonna go to home. All right. So what you're gonna do, wait, before, before, before I keep going, before I keep going, bro, I don't condone any piracy, any copyright, any none of that. Just a lot of people have been asking me how to set up the emulator, all right? So I'm just showing you how to set it up. But I, I don't condone any of that copyright, piracy game stuff, okay? Okay, so boom. Now that I got that out the way, I'm gonna decline this. So there's two versions of the emulator you can use. You can use the stable version, or you can use the nightly version. Me personally, I like the nightly version because it's always updated and it's, it's always um, patches that's coming out. So if one of your games is messing up, then you can just um, you can just update it through the nightly version. So like, if I open up my PCSX2, hold on, let me let me close it. Let me see. See, look, it's already another update. Oh, you can't even see it. Yeah, there you go. It's always an update to PCSX2. So that's why I use the nightly version. The stable version don't really give you the updates. All right, boom. So you're gonna download it. If you got a Mac, that's going to be probably another video. But we're just going to do Windows for now. Because Mac is a little different. So boom, you're going to click download. All right, so boom. There's your download. So we got that out the way. So now what you're going to do, you're going to open up another tab. You're going to go to Google again. All right. 7-Zip. You're going to type in 7-Zip. All right, let me zoom in. All right, so you're gonna click on the first one. It's gonna say download 64-bit, 64-bit. So boom, you click download. All right, there's your download right here. All right. Third thing you're gonna, you're gonna need. PS2. BIOS. So you're gonna go to Retro Stick. Boom. You're gonna go to Download. That's it. Just click on that. Nothing else. All right. We don't need nobody getting hacked. All right. So boom. There it goes. Right there. All right. So I'm gonna X out of that. I'm gonna X out of that. All right. So we got everything we need. Okay. Cool. So what I normally do. I just go to the far right at the very top, click on the three dots, and then you go to download. You want to see where your download is at. So we got the PCSX2, we got the 7-zip, and we got the BIOS. So the first thing you want to do is open up your, uh, you want to open up your 7-zip. All right, cool. So you're going to install it. So whenever you install it, it's going to say it's installed, but when you want to close it, cool. All right, so your 7-zip is gonna look like, okay, boom, it's already right there, all right. Cool. So now, you're gonna go to your PS2 BIOS that you downloaded. You're gonna click Show in Folder. Oh, let me delete some of these, because I be doing this all the time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is probably the best video on YouTube. All right, so what you're gonna do, oh no, I need that one. You're gonna right click on the BIOS you just downloaded. Show more options, right click, right click, show more options, and extract it through 7-zip. Boom, okay, so when you do that, it's gonna download PCSX2, it's gonna be like this. PCSX2 V17.5086, all right? So here's your application right here. 
gonna open that joint up. It's gonna say PCSX2 QT. Oh, shoot. All right. So when you open up the uh, when you open up the emulator, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. Oh. Hold on. Yours is gonna be blank. It's gonna say, "Okay, let's get started." Wooty 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 woo. All right. So you're gonna go next. Okay. You're gonna go next. So the next page is gonna say PS2 BIOS. All right. So when you see PS2 BIOS, it's gonna say browse. Dang, I wish I could show y'all. Hold on. What happens if I open up this one? Nope, not let me do it. I have to completely delete my stuff. Okay, so when it say browse, you just go to your downloads. So when you see browse, you're on the PS2 BIOS page. You're gonna click on browse, you're gonna go to downloads, and then you're gonna click on PS2 BIOS, the file that you extracted through 7-zip. You're gonna click on it, right? All right, so boom, once you click on it, you, it's gonna be four PS2 BIOS. Click on USA. It's gonna be the fourth one. And then you go to next. Then you go next. Then you go next. Then you go to next. All right. So I know everybody can do that part. That part's easy. All right. So then you hit skip, 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 skip. Cool. Boom. And there you go. That's how you set it up. That's how you set up the PS2 emulator. The GameCube is a lot easier. All you gotta do is just go to. The, uh, the dolphin emulator, which is all you got to do is dolphin is for GameCube games. So boom, just type in dolphin emulator, go to dolphin emulator, download, and then just download uh, the 64 bit. If you got a um, Mac, I mean, not a Mac, a Windows computer, and then if you got a Mac, there's a Mac OS right here. Mac, I'll probably do Mac another video because I do have a Mac, um, I have it on my computer. So yeah, man, that's the tutorial, man. I hope y'all learned something, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. We on the way to 3K right now. Let's get it, man. Boom. That's the video right there. That's the video right there. All right, bam. Could have been a lot smoother, but I'm going to trim it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to trim it out, crop it out real quick, real quick. I wonder if I can probably have screenshots i'm gonna probably have screenshots of somebody else stuff all right next game nobody want to play nothing nobody online bro this is crazy everybody just... oh wait hold on Let's go, man. W ratio. Look at the ratio, man. Look at the ratio. I'm going crazy. Just like a radio. Hop on the beat and I hop on the studio by Ricky Rubio. I get that money and I get that golf and I.